And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Tuesday. That's right. We are back here with another meme tier day. I just had too many meme tier donation decks to get to for just one day of meme tier decks this week. So we got some more exciting new fresh deck ideas. Hopefully y'all will enjoy them again today. So our first one here is going to be a Turbo Ledros deck. So what we're going to be doing is trying to get Ledros in play as early as possible with this deck. And we're going to have our finishing um, numbers of Ledros plus Atrocity. So we got three Atrocity, three Ledros. That's the, the goal of the deck. Uh, to help find Ledros, we got Stalking Shadows in here. That's going to be a good way to go find the card. But once, you know, if we can find, if we start with Ledros, like we're not even going to mulligan Ledros from our opening hand, which, you, you know, usually you just, it's a nine mana card. You send it back, you just draw it later. But we're going to keep it in our opener because we're going to have Oblivious Islander in here that will we'll be able to play it, reduce its cost by one. We have Green Glade Lookout. Strike, reduce the cost of the most expensive unit in your hand by one. So both of these two cards can help us uh, get Ledros into play a lot faster. And then even, especially if we have something like Stalking Shadows, like if we, like let's say we keep Ledros in our opener and a Stalking Shadows, and we Stalking Shadows and grab an Islander, well now we can play two Islanders, and now that uh, Ledros is down to seven cost. You know, if we had one of these strike, maybe now it's a six drop instead of a nine drop. And that's, you know, a lot easier to play as a six drop. We also even have two copies of Navori Conspirator, which can um, rebounce, which can bounce like your Oblivious Islander and replay it, right? So you can go <laughs> Islander on turn one, make Ledros cost eight. Conspirator, pick up your Islander, play it again. Now your Ledros costs seven. So that's pretty cool too. Um, then of course, our, with the Islanders, that makes the Ledros cost less. It does make the Ledros ephemeral. I guess that's that's something that's not great. But we have a we have a plan for that. We're playing Deathmark, so that's going to be another part of our combo. So like we get Ledros in play, um, even if it's ephemeral, because we reduce the cost with a one drop. Uh, but then we can use Deathmark to remove that ephemeral, give it to something else, because we want it on something else instead. So there we go. So that's how we can play like six, seven mana Ledroses and not have them just get sacrificed immediately because we'll use the death mark and then hopefully untap and atrocity with it we can also um if we do get the ledros to cost six or seven and if we if we are able to play a longer game we get to you know our nine ten mana use our spell mana we can potentially play ledros and atrocity in the exact same turn um you know like how that's real powerful with like they who endure atrocity same turn we can do that with ledros atrocity Okay, uh, let's see. Our other big thing at the top end is going to be Rasa. That, that's another good card of, of killing some stuff. We also have just like Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker combo. We got a bunch of denies to be able to protect our atrocities. Um, you know, like if we play Ledros one turn, go to the next turn, we can have atrocity with deny backup. And that's kind of that's kind of what our deck's doing. So there we go. All right, Turbo Ledros is what we're calling this one. We're just playing it on over in normal because it's Meme Tier Tuesday. All right, looks like we're playing against some spiders. Some fearsome cards, at least. I started uh, the prediction. If you'd like to wager your channel points, you can do that. Uh, we we have done Marauders. We've played a couple of different Marauders decks recently, but we did we did last week. Um, not that often for meme tier decks to graduate to a rank up day. Maybe like once every other week or so. Yeah, like one out of eight is it probably that's probably a good guess maybe a little bit more than that okay i'm gonna mulligan the two glimpse beyonds we'll keep the stalking shadows okay awesome start curse keeper into caretaker well this was this worked out pretty well because i also had the green glade lookout to reduce the cost of the ledros too It's probably too important to just do this. Everyone's a garden. I know we're only killing one thing. I, I definitely thought about just like passing, see if they play something else and then do that. But I don't want to pass and then they pass as well. This is still us getting eight damage in and so killing their 3-2 spider. So I can't complain about that. No, so we're not playing against they who endure because they are 
Huh. Then just do that first. Or like during combat. Uh, they are Noxus and Shadow Isles, so no for all Yord. They just look like a, a fearsome spider deck. Lots of spiders. I'm gonna play this because it makes their attack a whole lot worse. No, they did have a lease. Let's do that. Wow. That's not a good attack. Please do it. Alright, better attack. But not really necessary. Let me change you into something more comfortable. Yeah, it's basically how cheap do we want to make the Ledros. So I can make, I can also like make some of this other stuff cost zero. Like I can I can use this Islander and make the Shadow Fiend cost zero, for example, and play the other Islander and the Shadow Fiend right here. Or I make it cost seven. This makes it cost six. This strike makes it cost five. So I'm playing this card. Question is, is do I go zero cost Shadow Fiend, or do I keep on doing this? Let's see. Because at five it would cost. 11 total for these two, so that means turn 8. Which turn 8, we can, it's turn 5 right now, we can probably survive till turn 8, maybe-ish. I know, like, tagging with all these two ones and stuff, like, they're going to be able to block, like, they're going to be able to challenge with these things anyway. They're also fearsome. It does free up room for them, but yeah, they, they can either force us to block or not allow us to block because they're fearsome, <laughs> you know, so they get to choose. So this way, at least we can pressure their life total a little bit. Okay. So we'll have four cost Ledros. So I need 10 mana next turn. Okay. So I can do Ledros combo next turn. Ledros plus Atrocity, turn 7. If I only play... Oh, no, 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 I don't have the mana for that. Because mm. it's gonna. it costs 4 mana total. I'm 1 mana short. So that's another cool thing that Navori Conspirator can do. It can recall ephemerals and reset them. So I'm just a little short from playing Ledros and Atrocity this turn. Five power. Oh, man, I thought about just passing. I even thought about just passing. Oh, why couldn't I have you last turn, Deathmark? 
Okay, so I should have passed. It was a bad attack. I thought about passing whenever they they weren't attacking, but like they didn't play that thing. Yeah. So if I pass, if I pass, I win that game. Even like playing like I play the four three ephemeral and like how they pass to me, I should have just pass and let that ephemeral die, and just because then just go to the next turn whenever I have the mana for both Ledros and Atrocity, and then they have to like play something first before attacking because they don't have lethal. I thought about it, but just went greedy, and uh, it cost me. All right, let's try again. Another super fast deck. We definitely want to play against slower decks. Do not like the super fast aggro. No, I, I could not have killed my opponent that turn. I I had to I had to pass and then kill them the next turn. Well, this was a bad mulligan so far. Mm, what do I want to do? I think I guess we would just do this. Because remember, yeah, so like this this turns this into ephemeral, that's why I couldn't play the Ledros. Please do that. Okay. We just have our <laughs> ephemeral get to block. So while I could cast Stalking Shadows there, I could also just draw the next card and then have more information for the Stalking Shadows. Okay, we got to pass to see what they did with them playing the Senna. I wanted to make that challenge. That's really too bad. Alright, looks like they got me. And peace. Good hand. Flea Feather Tracker on one. The Landmark on two. Azir on three. Senna plus the one mana spell on four. Very good aggressive hand. No more struggling. Your end comes. Yeah, that that kind of hand is is <laughs> that kind of hand is too good for our meme tier deck. That's for sure. It's not the play that I want to make. I'd rather do the death mark, but I, I can't let them just get the like. If I go death mark, they still get the attack, and they still get all these different sand soldiers and everything. Well, that doesn't matter, right? Yeah, they just that ranger's resolve didn't do anything. Because they get the two sand soldier. Oh, come on, really? Let's say they get the two sand soldiers, the first one levels up his ear.
All right, their deck's a little too good for ours. Okay, deep deck. So that's going to be a slower deck. Good. So not just not just super aggro. Hopefully give us some time. Okay, good. We don't need the Warden Spray. Two green Glade Lookouts. Maybe Strike. Reduce this Ledros cost. And Ruination could be pretty useful here. You know, like turn 6, turn 7. Especially turn 7, like they start playing Nautilus. And some Sea Monsters. Who knows? Maybe we Ruination. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Green Glade Lookouts aren't very good against Spiderlings. I don't really even want to just trade this for a Spiderling. It's pretty bad. I agree, Rose. Green Clay Lookout should just be a 2-2. Basically, every single Ionia card could be buffed. <laughs> Basically, every card. If it if it has the region Ionia, it could be buffed. That's a that's a safe assumption. Two Vile Feast. Well, I liked our opener, but we did get destroyed by Vile Feast. We still have Ruination that can save us. Yay. Play some Warren Spray. Just leave me alone. I should have played that one too. Because now I don't get to play Ruination next turn. I guess that's the this is the turn that I want to play Ruination, so then I play Ledros on eight and then Atrocity on nine, but I don't even have lethal with Ledros and Atrocity right now. But yeah, I shouldn't have played that one too. This is probably a better ruination turn anyway, though. Wait for that landmark to go away. Because they haven't played Nautilus yet. Our deck was looking good the first game. It was looking good the first game. I, I just messed up. All I had to do was pass the turn the first game. We would have won. Yeah, I, I hope so too, Rose. I hope we can pull off the combo once. And I should have the first game. Like, we should have pulled it off the first game. If I would have just clicked the pass turn. So 
So we got to kind of see what our deck does, at least. So I want Green Glade Lookouts. So I want Green Glade Lookouts, Oblivious Islanders, and Ledros. I want those three cards. And so like those four cards we just had were, you know, none of them were those three. And so I'm mulliganing. If we have like Curse Keeper, Caretaker, I'll keep that as well. But we definitely want Oblivious Islanders and Stalking Shadows, obviously. Stalking Shadows is awesome. So like, because Stalking Shadows finds those cards. But that's what we want. So it's our first time having Rasa. If we can enable Rasa, this does look like a very good Rasa matchup. The Ballistic Bots look great. I don't know if we'll be alive for Rasa though. These Ballistic Bots kill you super fast. And we can't, can't block or anything. No, there's no reason why I'm not attacking with these Curse Keepers. I just kind of clicked this and attacked. I should be... They should be at 14. I don't think they'll make the biggest difference, but yeah, they should be at 14 right now. I imagine this is us just getting ran, ran over by Ballistic Bot, though. I hope they don't open attack, but they should. You know, like, they, they know about the Shadow Fiend in hand. They should open attack, but if they don't, we get to the Shadow Fiend, so that'd be good. Okay. Really know why they okay let's see i don't really know why they wouldn't attack but... so death mark's obviously better for me to do but if i play death mark i take seven i don't want to take seven all right both ballistic bots out of here, so that's very important. Alright, so it should be 12 now. Of course, I am planning on going Shadow Fiend plus Death Mark. Now, if I'm playing the Victor, it looks like I'll probably Death Mark the Victor. Kind of seeing what they what they do. A third ballistic bot. Before this gets spell shield. Alright, so I have vengeance this turn that I can use on the 9 9. Yeah, I could have played Islander on the Shadow Fiend also, but I'd rather 
save the Islander and put it on something else, like where I can have the Islander enable this other death mark. So we'll see. I, this has actually worked out better than I thought it would. So we'll see if that two life is really going to make a big difference or not. You know, I should have dealt two, two damage earlier, so like they should be at 11. Alright, I was seeing if they would play something else also, but doesn't doesn't look like it. I can't pass again. Best case scenario would have been them only blocking with like one of those two last turn and then us Rasa killing uh, both of those things, that would have been nice. Alright, but now this thing's ephemeral, so we can use it with our death mark against cards like Victor. They do get to attack with the Victor still. Take this. Ooh, suit up. That worked out pretty well for them. So do I want to make this Ledros cost six, but then be... Ephemeral? Or not Ledros, but sorry. Rasa. Cost six, but then be Ephemeral. I don't really want the Ephemeral Rasa. We've already used all of our death marks. Yeah, we either get three letters or zero, basically. to okay well if they would have played the sex core upgrade I would have denied it okay we're still in it Still in it. Oh, 
so close? Four? Alright, they could be at ten right now. Alright. That's not fun. It's meme tier day. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna get rid of that assembly bot. We have to find exact lethal. And we found exact lethal. There we go. One and three. Okay, another Teemo deck. This time with Swain. Um, I like the Islander. Ledros? Okay, we got Islander, Ledros. We also got a Stalking Shadows. One of our better hands that we've had so far. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. Yeah, we never know what hit Unfortunately, this Teemo opponent actually has Teemo. I liked the last team opponent not having Teemo. Like our hand's good, but we're like our hand like we're not beating their good hands with our good our hand. That was definitely a very risky attack, because if they just, you know, mystic shot it, then I don't get to play this, but then, you know, they could just mystic shot. If they have mystic shot, they'd just mystic shot this anyway, so. Yep. Okay, death mark. Could be good. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. Oh, I should have stalked you shadows. I would have hit the card that I wanted. Now I just need atrocity. We just need atrocity. <laughs> so I can still go, I can go like Ledros Deathmark next turn. <laughs> Atrocity, okay. So how do we do this? I guess I have to probably play Ledros this turn. I think I have to go Ledros Deathmark this turn. That would be seven mana, so we'd only have one left. So the next turn I could have Atrocity. So I, I just don't get to really have Deny available for any kind of protection, I guess. Mark on the Swain. And I, I don't think that we're gonna. I, I think, yeah, like I'd rather have this Swain dead than the Teemo dead. I don't think that the Teemo is gonna kill us. 
It's going to be pretty hard for them to stop. Like, they just use two removal spells. Two burn spells. Oh, yeah, they're down to eight mana. Or, like, they, they just spent eight mana, I mean. So, yeah, like, they, they're dead. Ledros Atrocity. There we go. Turn seven. Turn seven. Let's go. Okay, see, that's what our deck could do. So we end up going two and three, and could have been a three and two if I would have passed, you know, like, I could have had that very first one, and we could have been three and two. But yeah, we definitely, we did the thing. There we go. All right, so it took us to the fifth game, but we we did our thing. So we, we, we found the Oblivious Islanders, we had the Conspirators to pick up Islanders, so you get to replay them. So then we had four mana Ledros. <laughs> so, so the turn six, we had four mana Ledros, Plus the death mark, remove the ephemeral, um, and that killed a swain, right? Like that was huge. Killed a swain, forced them to block, uh, and then the next turn, boom, atrocity on turn seven. So there we go. That's our that's our deck, Turbo Ledros, right there. That was exactly what our deck is supposed to do. That last game, that was pretty sweet. So that very that very first game, if I just you know I play my four three ephemeral, they pass priority to me. If I just pass the priority back, end the turn. I still have my two two ones. They only have like eight power total in play, but I have my two two ones. I'm at ten. And uh you know, so I can you know I can do a little bit of blocking. They had seven unblockable power. And so they could have opened attacked and dealt seven to me and put me down to three, but probably not, especially having that that five mana spider in hand. So like let's say if I just pass the turn, they play that five mana spider then we get to play our Ledros, and then we have Atrocity also, and we kill them. So that could have been a 3 and 2. So close. But the last last couple games, our deck definitely looked better. We got to do some cool Rasa stuff game 4, but game 5, that's our deck, Turbo Ledros. Okay, very cheesy. Yeah, this is, this is a true meme deck, right? Like, this is not a deck you're going to be taking to a tournament, right? This is just something to, to cheese out some people if you just, if you just feel like you know, having some cheese on like a Saturday afternoon and just to feel like doing something, something silly. You can do that. You can have turn four or sorry, four man, not turn four, but four man Ledros and then death mark and then atrocity. That's a, that's how we drew it up. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck or any other meme tier ideas you got. Um, anything like that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching this one. I know it started off kind of rocky there, especially in the middle, like games two and three, pretty rocky, but we finished out strong. All right, but that's it here for Turbo Ledros. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.